Whew. All right. Noku actually playing the uh, the winner of this set. So let's see who gets it done. Starting things off on Final Destination. Uh, fairly typical setting, I would feel, for both of these characters. I know Chris is comfortable fighting on this stage. He starts it out with a forward smash. All right, so we got the degenerate buttons out back. Uh, I think this is a phenomenal stage for Greninja. Like Greninja can't really afford to get really deep off stage, so you don't really want to just push. He doesn't really need platforms to extend his pressure, so like he's just playing a heavy ledge game. Character's tools are really well suited for it, and Jagran has been proving week after week that like he is a really solid rep of this character. But one of New York's best messes, and honestly, like probably our best mess, just in general. He plays a little bit weird. Now that I'm like really getting a handle of like seeing the different styles of messes, I'm noticing that Chris is a bit on the weirder side, but his more aggressive take on the character, I think, will actually help him out a lot against Jay Grunt. Because like Jay Grunt's going to be a bit more patient when it comes to, uh, comes to getting in. A lot of water shuriken. Not going to see a lot of dash attacks or down tilts just to press the envelope. But like he finds his damage, and just like that, he finds his kills. Fighting off the heel going to be a bit on the difficult end it. Because you know that Ness is going to want to push forward. You know he's going to want to push his buttons. But if Chris isn't going to have a reliable in for approaching, like he's not going to be able to get anything done with uh, forward air effectively. Psy Magnet would be able to hit a low sitting target like Greninja, but it's still a bit on the... It's not that it's a bad option, it's a predictable option. Like you kind of know what Ness is going to go for. So once you see him commit to a button, you take advantage of all that speed that you've got as Greninja, and you burst accordingly. Like, Jaygar may not have fancy combos, but he's got a lead. And right now, he's holding on to this first stock like it's his last. You know what's funny is I don't even know if this is the first time these two have played, regardless of being from separate portions of New York. Because Jay Grun has brought out a few of the Grunt Gang members out to Long Island to fight Chris on home turf over at the meta. So, they may have run into Bracket, and I'm just not recalling off the top of my head. But, all the same, like, Chris is aware of the target at hand. Oh my god, he really almost just exploded from a reflected order shuriken, but a single hit of it. <laughs> Jay Grun getting away scot free on that, alright! Chris is struggling to find his kill off, and I feel like at 170, your option is grab. He's putting in so much work for himself. And because of that, look at that! We got 3 1 lead for Jay Grunt right now. Dash attack will eventually do it. Even with good DI, there's really not much you can do at 180% from a first dash attack. Alright, what does Jay Grunt do to try and bring things back at this point? Like he doesn't even really need to approach. Like that's kind of the the end game for Greninja anywhere is just push out to ledge and just rack up your damage like that. It'll take you a bit, but like you'll get your win. I mean, he could afford to overextend considering he's still got that clean stock lead over Chris. Chris just keeps on getting caught out by these forward airs too. Like because he's committing to his own forward air or psi magnet, he's leaving himself vulnerable. And outstage, yeah, that'll do it to you. Really good game one from Jay Grind. Hoping to see Chris make some sort of adjustments, whether it be the stage, or whether it be like how to approach neutral. He's got headphones. Yeah, he's got headphones. Okay, I don't want to get too loud because like players are relatively close. I ain't trying to coach my boy. Want him to win or lose on his own accord. And what I want him doing is like approaching shield because you don't have to really worry about Greninja grabbing you. Like he doesn't have any throw combos. He doesn't really have any kill throws. Like unless you're like at the ledge at a high percent and then forward throw maybe kills. But that's not a real kill throw. Not the way that Ness has kill throws. So like you can afford to approach with shield and that'll definitely help with the uh, water shuriken harassment. And if you're not able to go button for button with Greninja, you may as well block forward air as he's putting them out, and then punish accordingly. Oh, 
swap to Stadium 2, I think a really good choice for Chris, because it's going to give him a bit more room to play when it comes to the ledge, and it's going to be a lot more rewarding to take that base plat. He'll be able to... I don't think he's going to circle camp, but like he's got the option to go from platform to platform and really force the chase. And likewise, his tools are really well built for being able to shark off the plat, but that was just a terrible stall. I feel like my man's just on autopilot right now. Like, Greninja has the speed to be able to actually get out there and harass you. And we've seen that Jay Grunt is very willing to throw in his stage control if it means he just gets that one extra forward air. In fact, he's gotten two kills because of it so far. Wow, Jay Grunt trying something fancy. Just maintaining the pressure at the ledge is enough, but... Damage off the plats is fine, too. These PK flash stalls from Chris, typically a good option because we've got someone who's willing to wait, but Greninja doesn't have to just wait. It's optimal, but like he gets to go off stage because he's got such a substantial lead. He can harass with Hydro Pump. He can throw water shurikens. Like, neutral just looks really rough for Chris, especially once he's, again, down 3-1. Jaygrun just absolutely cleaving through one of Long Island's best, but a wayward Nair is going to end up throwing him right into the grubby little hands of Nesta, chuck him into the blast zone. Oh, Chris tried to do it to him. You don't get that on faster characters. Not a character with a jump like Greninja, too. Like On paper, like he's got the movement to avoid shenanigans like that. Like, this has honestly just been textbook Greninja play from Jay Grunt, and I couldn't be happier to see it. Like, the way that he's just keeping his plan simple and effective has been working so well, and look at that. That's not going to kill, but that's just beautiful damage. Trying to even further hunt out. What's our option? Oh, he's just going to eat it. You substitute just to stall it. That way he doesn't come back, and that is a very confident 2-0 in favor of Jay Grunt.